Sydney Cricket Ground was a marvellous sight at 2.30 this afternoon when play began in the preliminary match between Australia and the West Indies in the Benson Hedges World Series Cup. 35,000 people in the ground. We expected the crowd to rise to 40,000 later on, but it really was a superb sight. The teams were the same as uh, represented West Indies and Australia on the last two occasions those teams have played. Garner and Marshall failed fitness tests for the West Indies and 12th man for Australia was Wayne Phillips. The pitch, well, it was a pretty good looking one day strip, just a little bit of grass on it, but it was very firm and Tony Gregg told me before the start of play that he expected it to play very well so far as the batsmen were concerned. The toss went to the West Indies who took some time to make up their mind and then decided to bat first. We pick up play now in the very first over. Geoffrey Lawson is the bowler, one run on the board. He's bowling to Richard Gabriel, your commentators Ian Shuffle and Keith Stackpole. Richard Gabriel, basically a back foot player. He might have a few problems if this wicket is seeming around. But he's mainly onto the back foot. His problem comes about because he makes that movement after the bowler has delivered the ball. So you see the position he's in there, back behind the crease with both feet. Then that's where he is set up to play most shots. And that's the problem that he has. He's playing a long way away from his feet when he tries to come forward. It's got to be close. And he's on his way. Umpire Kraft are having a good long look and deciding that Richard Gabriel is out LBW. And Ian Chappell was just highlighting the stance of Richard Gabriel and he certainly hit right across that one. He is trying to force it onto the onside. You see the back come on the angle, just trying to whip it away and a good delivery just straightened up from Jeff Lawson. So that's a great breakthrough to Australia in this early over. Umpire Tony Crafter just thinking about it for a moment. Gabriel looking at the bat. I don't think he got an edge and he's out without scoring. West Indies one for one. Rackerman to Richardson. It's a good shot from Richardson. McGuire, it's the man chasing from mid off. And Richardson very quickly back for the third. And after two overs, it's one for five. That's a good shot from uh, Richardson, getting it away fine. And it'll beat Maguire across the boundary. Place that one nicely. taken there by David Hooks. Obviously the Australian fieldsman felt that there was an edge there. The ball really flew, came off Marsh's gloves and Hooks almost caught it. That would have been a sensational catch by David Hooks. You see it rebound behind Rodney Marsh and an inquiring look from Jeff Lawson. He was blocked by Marsh. He couldn't see. A new record been over. Nine overs gone, one for 17. It was a good shot. Put that away nicely, and the ground slopes over in that part there. Are they going to look for four? Good cricket. Very, very good cricket. I reckon once he got in there for a while, he'd display some very good looking attacking strokes as well. Currently has uh, nine runs off the 31 deliveries he's faced. And there's one of them, a square drive. Pick up two runs from that. Well, it's the Australian captain is under it. Wrong one to hook, as indeed it was on Saturday. Almost a playback there, with Kim Hughes taking the catch off Rackerman, and Rackerman's extra bounce did the trick there. Richie Richardson out, caught Hughes, bowled Rackerman. A combination of Rackerman's bounce and Richardson's impatience. Obviously not an accomplished player of the pull or hook shot, 
into position too late, the ball too close to the body, off the top edge, up into the air, into the hands of Hughes, exit Richardson for 11, 2 for 24. Well bowled. <laughs> well, it's two for 24. With Richards facing Rackerman. Oh, beautiful shot. A lovely little flick off the hip. And Richards is three. Twelve overs gone, two for 28. A clay to Richards. Beautiful stroke that. Hit with tremendous power. McClay almost had time to get down to reach it. Two for 32. Hog to Haynes. Nice shot. It's a long chase. There are two men after it. And neither will be able to get it. Beautifully hit away off his toes by Desmond Haynes. Yes, it was a very, very good stroke. It's in the air and it's beaten Lawson. Good shot. Now that's a dangerous over for Australia. They're bowling very tightly and the West Indies have got away. Two for 44. Two for 44 and Desmond Haynes played beautifully in that over. Richards is eight. McClay is coming in from the southern all round again, bowling to Richards. Oh, lovely stroke for more, four more runs. McClay was too short up in Brisbane the other day. The excuse given there was that uh, everything was a bit slippery. He wasn't quite able to get his footing. You can't bowl there to that man. It's a tremendous shot. Brings up the 50. That ball once again, just a little bit wide. And thrashed away behind square for four. Beautifully played. McClay, short, medium pace. And Richards onto the back foot quickly. Hit over the top of that. Weight was beautifully balanced. And it raced away to the backward point boundary. An expensive two overs from the Australian bowlers. Oh, what a shot again. That one short too. On that occasion, he didn't quite get it in the middle of the bat, and as a result, it won't quite get to the boundary. So 23 runs coming from the last two overs. The West Indies, 2 for 55. So Rodney Hogg is doing very well. Oh, and that must have been close to off stump. Well, that's Vivian Richards. He's looking for the pull shot. Wasn't short enough. He was beaten by the pace of Rodney Hogg. Australians would be desperate to get rid of Vivian Richards. In the air, he's gone. They've got him. That's the end of Vivian Richards. A huge breakthrough for the Australians. Kepler Vessels making the catch at mid on. Good bowling, Rodney Hogg. And surprisingly, Vivian Richards going for the same shot again, as if to say, You can't beat me twice. Wasn't short enough. The pace of Hogg, the ball was onto him too quickly, couldn't get it through mid-wicket. He got it high on the bat, and it flew straight to mid-on. He took a very well-judged catch. So Vivian Richards depart and a vital wicket for Australia. Three for 55, the West Indians. And that's it in the air, but straight down the ground. The ball running away down towards the deep mid-on boundary. Vessels is after it and just pulling it back short of the boundary. Three runs there to Haynes. Once again, Desmond Haynes opening the face and running the ball down to third man. And McClay having to move 
quite a long way to his left again. Two more. Looking solid, looking confident. Oh, well, once again, played away down there towards third man. This time getting four. Well, that's magnificent batting there by Desmond Haynes, opening the face of the bat, playing the ball into the gaps. Three for 70. Three for 73. Desmond Haynes on 38. Clive Lloyd on three. It's going to be Rodney Hogg. Your commentators now, Ian Chappell and Frank Tyson. It's in the air, but just wide. There are the fieldsmen at mid-wicket. John McGuire, the man there, not quite able to get a hand to that. After a maiden over, John McGuire comes in for a second over. And that's a bad drop there. David Hooks getting to that uh, lofted shot from Clive Lloyd. That's where he likes to loft the ball away. Kim Hughes had picked it pretty well. This could be costly because the trap of had obviously been set. The ball on leg stump. Lloyd cottoning on to that, hitting it fairly hard. The ball going away from Hooks most of the time, making it difficult to get his hands to it. But he should have hung on to it. Haynes in the air, just beating the ball of Maguire and safely away to the boundary. That's 52 Desmond Haynes, very good knock from Haynes, a vital one for the West Indies. Once again, he looks to the sky and says, thank you, Lord, for your little bit of assistance. A play to Lloyd. There's a big hit that's going out. Borders coming around. It's racing over towards the rope. That's six big ones, and Clive Lloyd picked it up beautifully. The stand is over 50, and a magnificent hit. He's that goal. Well, Clive Lloyd's been sweating on that one. Just waiting for Ken McClay to over pitch and just over pitch fractionally and the big cat was right onto it. A magnificent hit. Maguire to Lloyd. Gets hold of this one, boy oh boy, that's racing out towards square leg. Four more. Tremendous competitor Clive Lloyd. One of the best hitters in the game, whether it's test cricket or one day matches. Superb timing. pitch gets a single they'll look for two Haynes looking for the second coming back throw from Hogg it's going to be very close well run Desmond Haynes so Clive Lloyd he can probably look down that batting line up and say well I'll take a few risks because we should be able to bat it through from here on in it's gone again it's a big hit there's a man out there it's Gordon he's coming around it's racing that's over the rope again and at six more, Clive Lloyd, what a competitor, what a big hitter, and what a captain. Three for 130, the 31 overs, the West Indians picking up their run rate, and Rodney Hogg coming back into the attack from the members' end. Glorious shot. Alan Border, they're testing his arm and they do it nicely. Well run, Clive Lloyd. Great judgment by Lloyd on that occasion. Alan Border had the ball in his hand when Clive Lloyd was just turning for the third. He had a quick glance out, saw that it was a long return, and he took on Alan Border and he made it into quite an easy three. You see him charge back. Big shout, it's close, it's out, yes! Noel Johnson there, having a good look at that appeal from Rodney Hogg. Clive Lloyd hitting across the line. 
adjudged LBW on a vital breakthrough again by Rodney Hogg. Well, there's been a couple of close LBWs over the last few overs. Rodney Hogg delivers it pretty straight. Just goes on nicely. Clive Lloyd coming across with that back leg, and that was fairly plumb. Would have hit middle and off about two-thirds the way up. And umpire Mel Johnson, he's always pretty tough on LBW decisions. He gives that one out. And that's an excellent breakthrough by the Australians. They certainly needed it. Clive Lloyd, a brisk 40, and the West Indies 4 for 135. Indies after 32 overs, four for 135. It's Maguire to replace McClay. Desmond Haynes on 56, the key now for the West Indian side. It could be out, he's dropped him. Mid on, both hands to it. Flew away, they picked up a single. And Greg Ritchie, that went to him like a rocket. It was hit beautifully by Desmond Haynes. One might expect him to go a little quieter at this stage. First it was Hooks at deep backward square leg when the batsman was Lloyd. This time it's Haynes and the fieldsman is Ritchie. He's gone after this one. It's a big slog over square leg and that's four. Strange tactics that from Desmond Haynes. Yes, a little difficult to work out, particularly the loss, suffering the loss of Clive Lloyd in the previous over. Desmond Haynes on 65. Maguire the bowler. Looks for one. He'll look for two. Hogg was slow starting and Desmond Haynes has picked it up. Got a bonus run. Hogg to Haynes. Lawson's way down at uh, deep fine leg. Recovered well enough in the end. And the pause from down that uh, Sheridan stand in for Geoffrey Lawson. Haynes plays pretty well too. My word Haynes has favoured that cut shot. Four from one five eight. Why beginning a new over to Dujon? Flourish of the bat, an edge, and it's speeding away down there. And there's a little piece of rugby football going on down there as Hogg flings himself like a scrum half and picks that ball up just in front of the rope. Is Jeffrey Dujon now and recommends the bowler. Good catch. Well done. Jeffrey Dujon goes. Just a miscue out of mid-off, and that is a priceless wicket for Australia. Vessels for a moment didn't think the ball was going to reach him. He may not have picked it up all that quickly. But he got it in the end. A typical sliced Dujon drive. Previously, he had just failed to reach Greg Ritchie at mid-on with a similar sort of shot. This time, however, the ball had enough impetus to carry into the hands of Vessels, diving forward to grasp the ball gratefully. Five for one eight. Time running up to the Australian bowlers. Five for 182. Haynes hits that one away. On the onside, once again, just one bounce to Hooks, the throws in, and Logie very quick getting back down the other end. That's good running. Backs away, smashes it down towards square leg. Rackerman's going to try and get there. He can't. That's four. Well placed. Haynes attempting a hook shot there, playing it very fine. Augustine Logie facing Lawson. He's bowled in. Neck and crop. That is a beautiful delivery by Lawson. Right up in the block hole there. Logie having to go for it. Playing over the top and he's clean bowl. Great competitor, Jeffrey Lawson. And a fine bowl to boot. Right on line. Right at the stumps. Trying to hit down the ground. Yorked him. Hit over the top of it. Took the leg stump. And Jeffrey Lawson strikes at a vital time for Australia. The final overs. At six for one nine five. 
Beautifully poised today, got it all together to Baptiste. Well, well bowled again by Lawson. You can't beat those Yorkers. Coming back for the second, this could be close. They are quick, these West Indians. When Hogg picked that up, I thought there was going to be a run out for sure. Hogg to Haynes. Well, well played. Maguire diving away down to his right there. The batsman, the field, and Spielsman under tremendous pressure. Desmond Haynes on 99. Nicely played. That's 100, and is he happy? Desmond Haynes coming back for the second, board of the fieldsman, and that's been a superb innings. The first by a West Indian in the Benson Hedges World Series Cup at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And why shouldn't he be happy? A full house of 40,000 people, and he's played superbly. Pause from his teammates, a standing ovation, a tremendous knock. There was a lot of movement early. Haynes weathered the storm, and congratulations to Desmond Haynes. He's been out of form for several years, only averaged 17 in the test matches against India. He's come out here to Australia and he's played superbly today. And isn't he a happy man? Well played. Good luck to him. It's bowling. Baptiste bowled by another Yorker from Lawson. Well, he's certainly got those going today. That's magnificent bowling. Amongst all the excitement of the hundreds, Desmond Haynes, Jeffrey Lawson still on the job. Perfect length. The big back left to the West Indians and Lawson sneaks through a bit of pad there, took middle and off stump, and a fine effort from the Australian fast bowl. And the West Indies now seven for 207 in the 47th over. Hog to Haynes. We smashed that way down into the outfield. One bounce into the crowd. That was a magnificent shot. Well, that's just about the shot of the day. He hit that like a bullet. At Sped to the square leg boundary, no effort at all. Hogg's not slow, he was in position beautifully and just whipped it away and it raced out to the boundary. Fieldsman didn't have one chance of picking it up, it crashed into the fence. This is the 49th over and the clock on the scoreboard showing 5.59. In fact, it's ticked over to six o'clock, so this will be the last over, the 49th over bowled by Jeff Lawson. They're going to run for it. There's a shy at the stumps down there, but they've crossed easily. Well, the Australians will have 49 overs to bat. They're going to be chasing at least 222. He's been the key, Desmond Haynes, 108. Awesome. The last ball of the innings down the leg side to Marsh. He shies at the stumps. They've got themselves a single. So 223. That was a leg by. And that's the end of the West Indian innings. 223. They've lost seven wickets in achieving that total. And they've scored those runs at 4.56 per over. And that partnership between Haynes and Lloyd realized 80 in 66 minutes. The bowling figures for Australia, Lawson 3 for 30, Rackerman 2 for 33, McLean none for 47, Hogg 2 for 59 was expensive tonight even though he picked up two wickets and Maguire no wicket for 38. So the run rate needed by the Australians was 4.57 per over. A very, very difficult task against this West